We have all watched The Matrix and started wondering if computer games could become so realistic that maybe these avatars are indeed a kind of life form. Perhaps we are in a simulation and part of someone's dream who initiated this simulation. In this case, cosmic consciousness determines the existence of reality and what lies beyond our universe. This question has been pondered by many before us and will be by many after us. It is so vast that scientists have yet to measure the full diameter of the observable universe, and this does not even include the part that is not yet observable. Therefore, we must recognize that some of the ancient philosophers had the idea of materialism. They thought that we are only made of atoms, that we are limited, and considered what the observable universe is. The observable universe is the part of the universe that we can observe and study through telescopes and other instruments. It is limited by the fact that light travels at a finite speed, which means that there is a limit to how much information we can gather about the universe. So we can only observe objects and events that are within a certain distance, and we cannot directly observe objects or events that are too far away or occurred too long ago. The size of the observable universe is estimated to be about 93 billion light years. This is much larger than the estimated size of the entire universe, which is thought to be about 13.8 billion years old. The reason for this is that the expansion of the universe causes objects to move away from each other. Since objects that were once close to each other are now far apart, it takes longer for the light from these objects to reach us. The observable universe is a very vast and fascinating place, and there is still much we do not know about it. However, we continue to learn more about the structure, history, and various phenomena of the universe using telescopes like NASA's James Webb Telescope and other scientific instruments. We wonder what lies at the edge of the observable universe. If the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can it span 93 billion light years? The reason for this has to do with the expansion of the universe and the time it takes for light to reach us. We know very little about what is beyond the universe. To reach the edge of the observable universe, we may need to develop some transportation methods that allow us to transcend space-time itself, or find ways to travel faster than the speed of light like the wormholes that have been debated by scientists for a long time. However, these theories are highly controversial, and their feasibility has not yet been proven. The theory of cosmic inflation suggests that the total size of the universe is at least 10 circumflex 23 times larger than the size of the observable universe. This is such a large number that it is difficult for the human mind to comprehend. Because we cannot see or measure the unobservable part, it is not possible to know for sure what lies beyond the boundaries of the universe. But this does not mean we cannot develop theories. We can create theories based on the data we receive from distant galaxies, and NASA has made a significant contribution in this regard. NASA and other space agencies and research institutions have made important contributions to the understanding of the universe, even before the James Webb Telescope became operational this year. When the James Webb Telescope was first launched, it was used to detect the most distant galaxy ever seen. The images showed many galaxies shining in the distant cosmos. These galaxies appeared as they did just a few million years after the Big Bang, which occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. The expansion of the universe allowed light to stretch to redder wavelengths, enabling the James Webb Telescope to detect these galaxies. The observation of many distant galaxies by the James Webb Telescope has allowed scientists to study the rate of star formation in the early universe. This study revealed 44 previously unknown galaxies dating back to 300 million years before the Big Bang. Excluding the 11 previously known galaxies, this information indicates that a significant population of galaxies was forming stars in the early universe. It truly becomes thought-provoking for humans to question whether we are alone in the universe. 
And these new findings in the observable universe lead us to believe that there must be millions of galaxies in the unobservable part of the universe. Are there aliens? The possibility of life beyond Earth in the universe has never been more intriguing. Therefore, the question of what lies beyond the universe might have a simple answer. Many planets outside our solar system, known as exoplanets, have been discovered using techniques such as the transit method and the radial velocity method. Some of these exoplanets could be similar to Earth and potentially support life. This theory is also supported by the findings of the James Webb Telescope regarding the exoplanet WASP-96b. This planet, located outside our solar system, presents a light spectrum, and this spectrum indicates the presence of water molecules on the planet. Additionally, the spectrum shows the presence of haze and clouds. The discovery of habitable environments in the universe where it was previously thought none existed compels us to take the existence of aliens seriously. The observable universe is so vast. What do you think about the multiverse theory? The possibilities are truly endless. The concept of the multiverse, also known as the many worlds interpretation, is a theoretical idea in physics and philosophy that suggests the existence of multiple parallel universes or dimensions beyond our own. The idea of the multiverse is often discussed in the context of quantum physics, which deals with the behaviors of small particles, like atoms and subatomic particles. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, the act of observation that causes a quantum system to collapse into a single state could, according to the many worlds interpretation, cause the system to split into multiple states, each representing a different outcome. The multiverse theory is still quite speculative and not yet supported by definitive evidence, making it difficult to say for certain whether it is valid. While some scientists and philosophers find the idea of the multiverse intriguing and potentially useful for explaining certain phenomena, others remain skeptical of its validity. Nonetheless, given that we do not know what lies beyond the universe, the possibility of the multiverse's existence remains high. This is still as valid a topic as Schrodinger's cat. Is there dark flow beyond the universe? This question is quite complex. Dark flow was first proposed in 2008 as a possible explanation for the observation that certain galaxy clusters appeared to be moving faster than expected. This movement inconsistent with current theories about the distribution of matter in the universe, gave rise to the concept of dark flow. This concept suggests that galaxy clusters might be influenced by some unseen or dark matter or energy pulling them in a particular direction. However, the existence of dark flow is still debated. Some studies suggest that dark flow might be real and could be caused by the presence of a massive structure in the universe pulling these galaxy clusters toward it. Other studies have questioned the existence of dark flow and argued that the observed motion of the galaxy clusters could be due to other factors such as systematic errors in measurements. If it exists, dark flow is thought to be present beyond the observable universe as well. The phenomenon of black holes is also quite frightening. A black hole is a region of space where the gravitational force is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Black holes can form when a star collapses at the end of its life and their sizes can vary. The concept of the unobservable universe refers to parts of the universe that we cannot observe making it difficult to determine the likelihood of a black hole being present there. These black holes can range from a few times the mass of the sun to millions or billions of times the mass of the sun. While it is likely that there are numerous black holes in the universe, it is currently impossible to say for certain whether there are black holes in the unobservable universe or to estimate their number. Given the vastness of the unobservable universe, there is a possibility of their existence there. What about dark matter? Dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter thought to make up about 85% of the matter in the universe. It is called dark 
because it does not interact with light or normal matter in the same way, and therefore cannot be directly detected using telescopes or other light-based detection devices. The existence of dark matter is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter and the way it bends light from distant objects. The existence of dark matter is widely accepted by the scientific community. What dark matter is made of, or how it behaves, is unknown, and there are many different theories about its possible properties. Some scientists believe that dark matter might be composed of particles that have not yet been observed. At the end of the day, there is another mystery that could be solved if we look beyond the boundaries of the observable universe. Consequently, NASA holds the key to the future. The James Webb Space Telescope is designed to observe the most distant objects in the universe. Just as it provides images and spectra of objects in our own solar system, it is expected to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets and provide information about the formation and evolution of galaxies and stars. It is still in the launch and commissioning phase and has not yet made any scientific observations. Once operational, it is expected to make many significant contributions to our understanding of the universe and potentially discover new and unexpected phenomena that challenge our current understanding of the cosmos. Therefore, it could be the key to unlocking the mysteries beyond the universe. And we might see them sooner than we think, thanks to this machine. In the future, other new technologies or scientific advances may be developed that allow us to observe more distant objects or events. However, it is difficult to say when or if this will happen. Until then, as scientists and researchers continue to study the observable universe to learn more about its structure, composition, and history, and to better understand the physical laws that govern it, we will continue to fear the unknown out there.